Hey yo, you already know what it is. Your motherfucking boy Cage in the basement, man. Briz Rothstein versus Mr. Wavy. And yo, let's get it right into it, man. Off rip. I'm one of the few niggas. Well, I ain't gonna say few niggas, but I'm one of the, the niggas that was fucking with this battle, man. When I first heard this battle, I was really, really rocking with this shit. I'm gonna tell you two reasons. One, I'm a fan of Mr. Wavy. Two, I'm a fan of Briz Rothstein. Nothing else could be said. So when I heard this fucking battle was going down, I was hyped, man. I ain't gonna hold you. I was like, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Wavy get his shot and Briz just to get a chance to go lit again against a performing type nigga. Exactly what I was thinking when I first seen this battle. And you know what? The irony of this battle is Briz had two niggas calling him out their whole career. Mike P and Wavy. Not Wavy whole career, but I, I remember one of the few niggas I ever seen Wavy call out on camera was Briz. And that even shocked me in that video. I was like, damn. Wavy could have called out anybody. He won Briz, and I immediately was like, that's the best battle for the nigga at that time. Even at this time. So I was fucking with the call out, my nigga. Briz didn't seem as interested in the battle. Same thing with Mike P. Like, both of y'all niggas was calling this nigga out for a minute, man. But yeah, we gonna get into it, man. And Mike P. ducked the shot. That he was fucking begging for for years. He ducked the fade. And you get the fade. But the only thing that had me worried about the battle. It just didn't seem like Briz wanted to battle you. As much as you wanted to battle him. But that don't even fucking matter. I don't care about shit like that nigga. You could claim that I wasn't motivated shit. Or you want to and get smoked. I don't fuck around. But yeah let's get right into it. We already know what this is. I don't even gotta break nothing down, no round for round shit. I just wanna say one thing to Wavy real quick before I get into the bat, the full battle. What's poppin', Wavy? What's good, my nigga? Brooklyn, stand up. Brownsville, nigga never ran, never will. Trust. But I gotta talk to you, my man. First of all, I gotta ask you a question. You need a napkin? Or what you need a napkin for? Look at your shoes, bruh. You don't see that? You got stains on your shoes. Cause Briz just beat shit down your leg, bruh. You gotta clean that up. When I tell you this nigga just beat shit down your leg, my man. Not gonna hold you. Now I'm gonna give you your just doing this battle, but I'm gonna let you know. Briggs dog walked you. But getting into the battle. Now I'm not gonna hold you, man. Besides all the funny shit, obviously I'm being funny. But yeah. Wavy. Was wavy this battle. And that's kind of the problem. And I'm going to tell you why. I could honestly say. Last year. And a little bit of 2017 too. Was the year. We seen the most battle rappers elevate. Like. We had a lot of great battles. But I think the most important thing. I took from last year. Is I seen a lot of battle rappers Go to the next level. Like Twerk, he went to the next level. Geechee went to the next level. A lot of niggas that battled last year, they on another level than they was in 2017. They stock went up. Bridge. Even you, your stock went up from 2017 to 2018, Wavy. But yeah, let's get into your round one. Honestly. Off, when I watch the paper, and this a, let me say one more thing. This is another battle where the pay-per-view is different from the outcome. Because when I first watched this battle, I had it way closer than what everybody else was saying. I was like, Wavy didn't get washed, but I was distracted during watching it. And two, I didn't watch the whole, I didn't see the third round completely. 
So what I was waiting for the I like waiting for the edited versions, man. Even when I paid for certain battles, like I never watched the whole card in full. I like to leave certain rounds and certain shit into the edited version. Like I like some surprises, man. Like so that's what I started doing. Like I even cut niggas third rounds out. Like, oh, I was distracted during a certain battle where I probably missed something before I uploaded it. The VOD and shit. And, and I like the surprise on the edited version. So, I actually had this battle closer than originally when I first saw the pay-per-view. But watching this shit back, man, your round one. Now, I'm going to say this. Your round one was more fire than I originally thought it was. Like, the whole nigga Iceland like I'm Japanese. Nigga, two for 20. Nigga, Applebee's. That shit was fire, bro. Like... That's when I was like, okay, let's go. Let's fucking go. We turning up now. So your, your, your first round was solid, my nigga. Like, solid, like, as a rock. But, like, shout out to Jazz the Rap. But solid rounds can be beat. And veteran niggas is going to beat those. Every fucking time. Hold on, let me find my lighter, man. I got to spark this. Let's talk about it. I don't lost my fucking lighter. Yeah. But anyway... Your round one was fire, but I'm a, I, I'm I'm only gonna talk about round one because it's the most debatable round. Then Briz come out. His round two, his round one was fire. He did the whole. Now Briz first eight bars separated y'all two. It was like ready, wavy. You ready for the main stage and shit? But it, it Briz showed that you wasn't quite on his level. His pacing, the way he opened up his first eight to four bars just showed a difference in, in y'all styles and i really thought when this battle first got booked that y'all got similar styles like y'all both performance niggas y'all don't really be trying to be super stupid ball heavy like there's a lot of shit that i like about y'all niggas that everybody else don't do so off rip i was fucking with the battle but bridge his first couple of bars really started showing a difference but i wasn't giving him no i wasn't giving him the round like your round was way too fire for that to be enough but the nigga opens up with a certain pace and a certain cadence that you didn't really have. Like, as excited as you was for this battle, I think you should have took it a little more slower. You shouldn't have overthought certain shit. A lot of shit I could get into, but Briz started pacing himself well in the beginning. And then the nigga did something that you probably didn't expect. The nigga nullified your special move. Now, we in the era of multiple special moves. I think 2016, 2017, 2015, that's when the special move got coined. When almost all the top 10 niggas got one and we all realized they had one. In 2018, it was then you got to have multiple moves, multiple ways to move and dance on a nigga. Or your style got to appeal multiple different ways. That nigga Briz nullified your special move in round one. And that kind of started edging him around. The then the boy had fire. So I'm, I'm calling round one off rip. I'm edging Briz. I'm like, damn, but I'm still thinking like your round one wasn't whack. You still got a chance to make this shit up and like go crazy your second round. But let me slow down because I want to make this shit important. Wavy made a fucking rookie mistake. Like Wavy had a chance round two to make a veteran move. But he stuck to the script. And it hurt him. And I'm going to let you know what I'm talking about. Like, wavy round one, solid. Mr. Wavy, exactly what we expect from the nigga. Fuck the crowd reaction, all that. Briz round one, Briz. Exactly what we expect from him. He edge round one. And he nullified your first move. Your special move. So now, you got a decision to make. I think you should have switched your second round with your third. Like, for him to have that much... Crowd reaction off of nullifying your special move. That was a perfect opportunity to switch rounds. You should have never came out on your second with that jokey joke round. Mind you, the jokey joke round was decent. But not after he just nullified it. You should have waited till round three to pull that out. You should have put your third round second to compete with Briz's whatever he had for round two. Because that was your most aggressive round. Even though you choked. But... It still would have been a veteran move to like move your special move to the end because now they done forgot about what Briz said by the time you do it. That making sense to you, my nigga? You did a rookie move. You did your special move right after he just nullified it. So it took a lot of steam out of that. 
And then you had a whole round full of jokes. It didn't really match up to what Briz came out in round two with. Briz came out in round two with the fucking fire, like the crazy, the aggressive shit. Like, he outplayed you and he outplayed you. This battle would have been way closer if you would have just probably switched your rounds. You probably could have switched your first with your second even. It just would have looked different. So Briz ended up edging the first two rounds off rip because you just matched up your rounds poorly. With structure and placement. And then we get into round three. I think you knew you was down two. I think you knew in your own heart you down 2-0. So regardless how this round come out, even though it's your most aggressive round, probably your most powerful round on paper, you didn't deliver your all. You was already losing the battle. So you fucked around and choked round three. And I'm not making no fucking excuses for nobody, but you choked round three. You didn't even get that powerful shit out. And Brig come out and coast on your ass. And it's 3-0 now. When you could at least have this shit 2-1 either way, or at, at, at worst, 2-1 bridge. But now it's 3-1 bridge. It's 3-0 bridge. And it's 3-1. He won all the interviews too. He won the face-off. Like. In closing, I just want to say this. You was calling bridge out for a minute, bro. Talk about it. Let's get into it. You, the first nigga I ever seen you call out was Briz. And you want the K-Shawn battle. And you, I mean, and you got the K-Shawn battle. K-Shawn was the first nigga you called out, if I'm not mistaken. Then you called out Briz. You ain't give it your all, man. This is when calling niggas out go wrong. And this was not the best you, my nigga. Maybe you overthought it. You know how you want something so bad you finally get it. Is not as impressive as you thought. Maybe that's the case. But get your fucking shit together, baby. Like Briz put into perspective, it's several classes of niggas that came out after you that's ahead of you. And you are one of the first niggas that went from your rookie year to damn near top tier. But then you took a year off and then came back semi-smoking, semi-warm. And it wasn't enough to compete with the new classes, the Avs and the Mike P's and all these other niggas. Then you had the Turks and the Geechee Gotties. Like, you getting separated further and further from the leading pack, nigga. Step this shit up and be wavy. That's it. Briz, I'm going to say this. I've seen a lot of rhetoric being spilled like Briz is the GOAT. I'm not going to hold you. Briz impressed me every fucking battle. Like, how the fuck do you do that? Like, mind you, I never expect that he's going to lose the majority of his battles. But he managed to exceed my expectations every time he come out. And I'm never, I never got him as the underdog, really. But he manages to exceed my expectations. And he don't really do nothing more than what he already did before. He just does it better every fucking time. So Briz is becoming a GOAT at being Briz. Like, he got the most unique style and he's perfecting what the fuck he bring to the table. That makes him dangerous. Pay attention, Briz is fucking dangerous right now. I only seen Briz not give it his all one time. And that was the T-Top battle. UFF shit. You know what I'm talking about. But other than that, Briz been coming crazy. Win, lose, or draw. Briz got some shit you never heard before. He got exactly what you want from him, and he always steps it up. So watch out for fucking Briz Rothstein, man. Shout out to you, man. I know Briz got a couple good battles coming up. But we're going to get into that, man. And yo, Wavy, step your shit up. Briz, good battle. 3-0 Briz. Holla at your fucking boy. Cage in the motherfucking basement. We lit. Yeah, nigga.